Welcome back. Hi. You were standing up, but it was a perfect time to start, so I started it without you. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a drink and annoy everyone. Left you in the dust by like a good two seconds. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, so annoying. <laughs> I'm taking so long. I run my hand there along you go. the lines of the book. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was just waiting long enough till you got annoyed. <laughs> it worked. Feeling the individual texture of each as I glance across the titles. I used to do this all the time at the library at the hospital. Some things never change, I guess. Ah, like the smell of a library. No matter how much care you take, the paper in books is always going to degrade with time. We're all just going to die someday anyway. <laughs> Probably. No matter which library you go into, anywhere in the world, it must have that same musty smell okay cool. <laughs> I find something that looks light enough to read without any major thought involved then look for Hanako in the reading area and I find her once again she's sitting on a beanbag with her back to a bookshelf well yeah because they're not going to draw her in any other way or else she's also not going to sit facing the bookshelf probably <laughs> <laughs> I mean she might I guess reading the same book she's had in the classroom She's slowly making her way through the pages. <coughs> Unlike last time I saw her there, I quietly take a seat in a beanbag. The noise is enough to catch her attention, but not startle her. Just to be clear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this delicate routine... I'm not weird! ...that must be followed each and every time I try to talk to her almost feels like hunting game. That's a oh, God. creepy way to think of it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> is that the same book as before? Yes. I'm almost finished. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you later. <laughs> I wonder if I should... Do you mind if I borrow it when you're finished? My mouth is faster than my mind, it seems. Sh sure. You may not like it, but... I'm sure it can't be that bad. After all, you've stuck with it, haven't you? <laughs> it's titled How to Deal with Stalkers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> what to do when there's a weird-ass boy following you. <laughs> I settle into my beanbag and set about reading my own book that had been buried in my bag. It's a light novel about pirates. To be honest, I'm barely skimming over the words, having chosen the book merely because it had a pirate on the front. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it belongs to a different genre than I usually read. Finding it hard to muster enough enthusiasm to finish the book and noting that I've inadvertently distracted Hanako quite a bit, I decide to try and make conversation. That's what she probably wants when she's reading a book. <laughs> You're bad at this. So, I see Lily left without you. What a bitch. <laughs> she nods before taking her eyes off <laughs> her book. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> she must have been really into it after all. Lily said she had to go and meet someone. Oh? Boyfriend? Uh, Akira. <laughs> her sister. Sister? I hadn't heard about her talk. I haven't heard her talk about her family. You've known her for like a day. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> she she and Akira used to live together. I thought all the students lived in the dorms. Did they? I mean, we don't have to. But it's easier, right? I mean, there's food here and you're close to school. I mean, who would want to live at home? <laughs> right. Who, <laughs> who wants would privacy? Want the comfort of their own home? I love living right next to Kenji. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever been to class on time so often in my life. Her badly hidden smile proves quite rewarding. In the back of my mind, I know I have a bit of homework to catch up on, but it's quite comfortable in here. No one can find me and force me into working for their pet project e either. <laughs> Though now I'm th that I'm thinking about the festival, another question comes up. Hey Hanako, what are you doing for the festival? For a split second, I think that Hanako is about to throw her book in the air, or my face, <laughs> from shock. Sorry? I was just asking what you're doing for the festival tomorrow. You know, the festival? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing that everybody's talking about. Anything planned? I, I don't know. Hanako answers in the way that people do when they don't want you to ask any more questions. So I probably will. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> Large crowds and loud music aren't really her thing. Ooh. Oh, okay. 
change the subject. Change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's Lily's sister like? <laughs> she hot. <laughs> she hot. <laughs> yeah. What in the world? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> she she's nice. She's pretty like Lily, but she dresses business like. Business like. She she's always wearing a suit. Ah, I see. That makes her less pretty somehow. Hanako gives an embarrassed shake of her head. <laughs> no, just different. <laughs> I'll admit it. This has got me intrigued. I want to hear more about her sister. <laughs> right. <laughs> to hear Hanako talk about someone other than Lily is a first, and to be complimentary about it too. But as I try to picture this mystery sister, <laughs> all I can think of is Lily in a suit. And I can't imagine that not being attractive. Not at all. Are you going to be, like, hot for Lily throughout this entire storyline? I guess. <laughs> like, I've never played the Hanukkah line, so all this is new to me, right. by the way. Well, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, one day you'll have to introduce me to her. Why? <laughs> Hanukkah will have to introduce you to Lily's sister? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Freaking weirdo. Our brief conversation ends as a abruptly as it started and we both returned to our novels but seriously that sister yeah <laughs> you got her number the passage of time is marked only by the gradual movement of the patch of light cast through the window because this school has no clocks apparently slowly <laughs> yeah slowly the noises from the various rehearsals in the building fade out and die as students start to get hungry and die <laughs> <laughs> jesus <laughs> just thinking about that makes my stomach start to turn knots around itself I think it's time to head back. Do you think Lily would be back? <laughs> I mean, I know she like she needs Lily around too. But... I think I might, yeah. It's just like he's asking about other girls yeah. all the time. <laughs> so you know what she's up to right now? So you're kind of boring. What about these <laughs> yeah. other girls? I think I might head back to my dorm. I'm pretty tired from this week. Oh, you give her the yawn and stretch and leave. <laughs> yeah. Not a word of that is a lie. Moving to a new school as it ramps up for a major event has been taxing, to say the least. What are... Really? Are you really doing anything? <laughs> you yeah. helped Kenji a little bit, but that's really all you've done. Right. I can feel myself nodding off as I read my book. Uh, okay. I, I might stay here a little longer. Looking at Hanako's book, I can see that she is only a few pages away from completing it. For a moment, I consider hanging around until she finishes, but I'm stupid, so <laughs> once again, <laughs> yeah. my stomach turns, emitting a gurgling sound. Food first, woman later. Sure thing. Well, I'm going to head off before it gets dark. I'll see you around, okay? God, I hate you, Hassel. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> see you, Hassel. Laters. H Hassel? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, they, they, Nothing, they, sorry <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for, for hanging out with me Yes, I can see how hard it was for her to get that simple sentence out of her mouth It leaves me hanging for a moment So, there is someone in this school who is even lonelier than me Maybe lonely is a wrong word I haven't been lacking company for this, whoop, for this first week But I've still managed to feel somewhat alone and detached Maybe lonely is the wrong word for Hanako, too. I don't know. She is Lily, after all, doesn't she? <laughs> and Lily's sexy, sexy sister. And her sister that I've heard so much about recently. <laughs> <laughs> I realize I've been standing there far too long without answering, and pull off a flawless, not-too-exaggerated smile. You're welcome. Good night, Hanako. N night. I leave her to finish her book and head back to the dorms and the promise of food. Yeah, food. ramen and bread. I like food. I like Hanukkah and food. <laughs> In that order. Yes. <laughs> no, apparently not. No. <laughs> I couldn't wait for her to finish a few more pages. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still there? <laughs> you died in your sleep. <laughs> the next day I wake up feeling a little lightheaded since it's yeah, it's almost noon already. Jesus, <laughs> sleeping late is fine, since it's a Sunday and there are no classes. Sunday, the only day <laughs> off? I, I guess. That sucks. Not just a Sunday, though, but the festival as well. From my window, I can already see some people at the soba booth slinging noodles onto plates for people with a craving for low-quality food. 
I throw back a handful of my morning meds and ponder how to spend the day. Junk food. There will be a few exams. Yeah, I finally get my, yes! my food. Screw you, Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just laugh at her as I walk by. <laughs> it's like, what the, who the hell is this asshole? <laughs> There will be a few exams in the coming week, but I don't consider those as ominous as others, so I'm not as worried about them as I probably should be. With no urgent obligations regarding education, I should be free to spend the day at the festival as I like. Finishing my morning routine, I hopefully don't run into Kenji. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I exit the hallway, intending to go out and find something to eat. No. No! Passing by the store, I decide to see what Kenji's up to today. Why would you Impulse. do that? I'm curious to see if he has any plans, since everyone is doing something. And I guess we'll read them in case it's different than last time. Uh. <laughs> then again, I can picture him having built a soundproof shelter in his room. Or possibly something like a fort complete with no girls allowed sign. And with the girls crossed out and bod buddy, bo bo body crudely scrawled underneath it. Okay, yeah, we have seen this. Yeah. Knocking on his door, which is luckily devoid of any kind of sign, I hear again... At the unsettling clinking of at least ten locks being pulled back. The door opens up a crack. Who is it? You're supposed to ask that before you open the door. Shut up, asshole. <laughs> oh, it's you. Damn. It's early. It's not really that early. What is it, man? Get my swerve on. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was just gonna... He's got like five <laughs> girls in there. <laughs> Nothing was just gonna ask what you're about gonna do today. Half the school's out there already. Out where? Why? What? <laughs> what? Why? Is today special? What are they? Why are they there? Who are? What? Who? What? When? Where? <laughs> I can hear them. It's loud. Don't tell me. Has the invasion begun? He suddenly looks more alarmed. What day is it, man? Yeah, I guess you can't see the big wooden booths outside and people selling stuff. What the hell are you talking about? I have my curtains closed at all times to thwart the snipers. Uh, it's the festival. You know that, right? I knew there were snipers. <laughs> oh shit, that's today? Ah damn. Ah damn, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. I don't have my fort finished yet. This is bad. This is going to be a very bad day. Just like four or five pillows stacked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's good you told me this, man. This is going to be a bad day. Why? Oh man, they're going to be everywhere. The people outside my window socializing. Kendi ru Ken Kendi. <laughs> Kendi. Kendi rubs his temples nervous nerviously suddenly looking very Kindy ill. is his sister <laughs> Kenji is, is, is yeah it's gonna be loud as hell damn and I was gonna go out today but now it's ruined everything is ruined this is awful this sucks this sucks what the hell this really sucks I can't go anywhere now there's nowhere to run Kenji seems nervous yeah you think <laughs> <laughs> even say Kenji really, really freaking out I can't believe this so that's what today was damn and I couldn't even prepare for it well Shouldn't you keep better tabs on that? I mean, weren't you making signs for it? Yeah. <laughs> and you're, you know, you have like graphs and stuff in your room. <laughs> Do you not have a calendar? <laughs> I couldn't even brace myself and now it's here and I can't do anything. You should have told me this earlier, dude. I mean, at least I, I know, but I could have known earlier. Imagine what I could have accomplished. Well, I was going to call you, but... Sorry, I <laughs> thought you knew. <laughs> so I guess you're not going to do anything today? The weather's even good. Yesterday was really windy, so I thought yeah, today would be cold. It's not, though, so I'm going to ramble on for a while. <laughs> God. So there's no reason to just stay inside. Yeah, you should check the festival out. It's like 76 degrees outside, and it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's not windy. Kenji groans and covers his face with his hands. Ah, no, no, I can't do it. They'll eat me alive out there. I know it. That has to be a joke, but he said it with such a straight face. Relatively straight. Somewhat gay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> we should hang out in there. Here. <laughs> you can help me build my fort. We might still make it if we work together. Uh, I don't know. Pretty hungry, so I thought I'd get some food first and then check out the attractive girls. <laughs> Your <laughs> class project seemed pretty cool, and I gave a hand with it, so I want to see at least the one that one and chat with Lily, I guess. Speaking of that, don't you have any obligation for the project? Are you out of your mind? That blind broad is up to no good. I can feel it in my spleen, man. <laughs> Her presence is like a dark shadow. That's in the way of my great vision. As expected of blind people, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Have a pot calling the kettle. <laughs> Besides, I thought you were also. He holds up a hand to interrupt me. Don't you fucking talk to me. <laughs> 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 Only legally. <laughs> Metaphorically, I can see further than any man before me has seen. Oh my god. 
Kenji looks uh, stoically into the metaphorical distance to emphasize his statement, thrusting his chin forward to look manlier. Although, actually, it's just a corridor wall two meters away, but it's all the same. Is this like... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just get to a point where there's never Kenji ever again? Yes. Can we just kill him at the beginning? <laughs> like my brain is eating itself right now. I can see the future of mankind, and it's a dark one unless the threat of women is stifled. They are everywhere. His finger, he fingers his scarf nervously. It likes it a little. It's faster and faster, like he is trying to start a fire, then slowly begins to calm down once the panic attack finishes running its course. I'm going to have to find some place to hide in, a safe haven, and then knock the lights out of myself so that I don't have to experience this horrible day. I'll help you. I have the perfect thing for that. I must prepare now. I'm off. Don't go to the festival. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the door slowly closes with a low creak, and I don't know how to feel about what Kenji just said. I do. Anger and sadness. Okay. <laughs> that's that's an episode. Let it run. Well, I guess I didn't let it run too much longer, but didn't want to start another episode with Kenji. Let's start the next episode with happiness and fried food. I want to start every day with happiness and fried food. That sounds like the best. And day. I could do without the happiness as long as I have <laughs> yeah. plenty of fried food. <laughs> One usually helps with the other. Yeah. Well. Wow.